beautiful sculpture. Hmm. I suspect it was placed here for some sort of specific purpose rather than as an artistic statement. off right away, or do you need a little bit of time?
Introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. 
not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. And that's the problem. All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples, the anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who has seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Don't you understand what we're talking about? There's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse. One is right over there. Besides, why fight me again when you don't have to? I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the Hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I know we're not the same people we met in our universes. Still, it's good to see you again, old friend. It's 
not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you, offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Different? I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. You might think the Emissary is on your side, but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth. Remember that. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit, you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary. To decide what to do about you. end up having this meeting at this time but it's the usual affair can we make peace no oh how tragic honestly i was beginning to wonder why i kept tending and it's bad habit i started a long time ago perhaps i just like meeting the emissary to gloat <laughs> But you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own, that's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things. But I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The 
emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the unity itself doesn't judge. Painful memories or not, it's good to be home. Every time I return here, I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation's contributions to exploration. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to bear it. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards. And the implications are... a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? 
or oblivion? Like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. If you are free soon, when you have the time, could we talk? I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? None of us are in this for the credits. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I cannot tell if that is a compliment or an attempt to avoid the question. I will assume the former. I have a very different background from the rest of Constellation. I carry myself differently. I worry that some of the others are unable to see past this. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. Yes, exactly. I survived. That was the only goal. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Of course, you have given me an opportunity the others have not. Perhaps I just need more time. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? And yet here we are, working together. And that has, I think, gone very well. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. 
Catch a smile out there. You can feel it. Can you? The lodge just feels empty. Betting there's something cheaper you could drop instead. new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo.
I'm sure you can find something you like.
Hell of a sin. I have something I need to discuss with you. What can I help you with? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. You the courier? I've been expecting you. Star Parcel has your payment right here. Anything else you need? Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me.
when you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. You've got something for me? I got things to do. Chat with someone else. Forgive me for pulling you aside again, but, well, there's so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. 
I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. Yes, that's exactly right. Humans are clearly a victim of their own success. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. But it has made a difference. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. Oh, absolutely. Their arrival in our universe is much too timely to be for any other reason. It's also clear that the need to collect these artifacts are an obsession for them, almost bordering on an addiction. That leads me to wonder what the Unity has done to their minds and their souls. Yes, I agree but not at the expense of erasing our own existence. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well, but that's not the point. As the Chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. You're a respected colleague, and I wouldn't want to lose you. I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? Part of what I do, as Chair of Constellation, is weigh the costs of our expeditions. And this one... Oh, the cost is extremely high. Yes, of course. Of course. Listen. I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind, or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Thank you. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking, so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. 
After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Arja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Arja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Arja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend, but we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there, and that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? spin up time almost complete total time five minutes 22 seconds right on schedule how are the helium 3 valves holding nova we double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch all signs green any changes to the calculation sequence from voltaire no changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday it's a clean shot it's from here to, to think that we're One standing on the same Jupiter's orbit. 
orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. Unless I'm mistaken, that's one of the launch towers used during the evacuation of the Earth. I can't even imagine the chaos. The most likely way into the NASA facility would be via an elevator shaft taking us straight down. Hopefully the system is still in operation.
temperature levels are bottoming out. the gantry was in loading position. I wonder what prevented this particular colony ship from lifting off. Hmm, the lift system seems to be completely offline. We should search for a way to restore the power and get it back into operation. area. Probably the last step before boarding. Hmm, it's definitely seen better days. Fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand drives, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Station log. Dr. Judith Satien. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half-hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to 
saw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I... I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window.
we're going to discover something important here. I promise. viability in this area. It seems as if they knew the inevitable was on the horizon. Not much left of this geology laboratory. Ironically, the surrounding rock appears to have sealed the fate of this part of the facility. some of that gear.
out. It appears we've found one of Vasco's long-lost relatives. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to find out. Project Log, Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore, but further work is going to have to take place in space somewhere with abundant helium-3, and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Project Log, Dr. Judith Petien. I watched the gravjet tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years. Decades before we know what all these side effects of operating a grav drive can be, but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. If there's a way to access the deeper sections of this storage area, I'm certain we'll find it.
actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the craft drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing I know what I seem to My name is Dr. Victor Isa. And if you're listening to this, then you probably already know the truth. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of an odd gravitational anomaly on Mars. But I kept what really happened that day hidden from everyone except one other person. Oh Even my she God. didn't believe me at first. The graph drives destroyed her. I have no reason to lie and to anyone the first now, drive. do I? When I touched the anomaly, I experienced 12 days of lost time. I met myself. He told me everything that has since come true. The grav drive equations, the tests on the moon, Earth's atmosphere sputtering away because of what we had done. But he also told me about a city thriving on a planet orbiting a distant star. Human culture, art, music, lifestyles evolving and shining brightly across all of space. What price would I be willing to pay for that future? Maybe you don't believe me. Maybe Judith was right and I'm just a coward who wants to believe his mistakes were justified. But everyone has forgotten about the real origins of the ground drive. This Artifact from Mars. I hope you make better use of it than I did.
understand now why I asked you to come here? The artifacts unlock the secret of interstellar travel. At the cost of Earth. An easy trade, honestly. Why have one world when you can have all the settled systems? Assuming we weren't going to lose it anyway. War, disease, famine, all the classics. Don't you see? The power of the artifacts forced humanity to the stars. They didn't get to make a choice. How many would have chosen Earth? And what gave Victor Isa the right to choose for them? You see the hypocrisy in what the Emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. Join me, old friend. We can collect the final pieces together. Oh, no, you don't. You're not his old friend, remember? You're from another universe. Don't try to manipulate him. Okay. I couldn't win you over on philosophy. How about pragmatism? I'm more powerful than the Emissary. Than any other Starborn. And you might not understand why, but I want you to succeed. You've never gotten this far before. I need to see what happens to you. Thank you. Well, can't say I didn't try. We'll settle this at the usual place. The buried temple. We'll be there. You're lucky I'm a man of my word. I'll see you there. Stay for a moment. You must have questions about what happens next. You won't be able to go to the buried temple right away. There are still other artifacts out there in the settled systems that haven't been gathered. You'll need to work with your colleagues in Constellation to find them. There's always a final artifact in a specific temple. The Hunter and I agreed that whoever you sided with, the other would wait there. Expect anything and everything. Other starborn, human mercenaries and defenses, alien creatures under mind control. It's all fair game. I'll meet you in orbit above the buried temple. We'll face what's there together. He and I made a number of agreements over the years, if you can even call them years at this point. We let him go. In exchange, he'll wait at the buried temple be able to prepare any way you can before then. All of the other artifacts need to be gathered before the final one will reveal itself. I'll be bringing mine, the hunter will be bringing his, and you'll need to bring the rest. All of the ones Constellation can find.